My strongest influence was my desire to achieve the human maximum potential. Of course, there were people along the way who helped me along in terms of learning and achieving the things that I needed to in order to live the way that I desired to live. Uh, one of those individuals, my primary teacher is uh, Dr. Aris Latham, uh, originally from Panama uh, by way of Jamaica. Uh, worked in the States for many years and had the opportunity to connect with him and work with him and uh, ultimately become um, what I like to say a raw food chef but also a raw food scientist uh, where you study the energy of food in terms of healing and bringing vitality to the body. Uh, I like to say that this is really truly the Ital cuisine. Um, I mean it doesn't get any more Ital than raw because as we say I like to look at Ital as really coming from Vital. You know, Vital, Vitality, Liberty, Life. Uh, it doesn't, we talk about the food and we look at it in terms of um, growing with Mother Nature and Mother Nature using all of her tools at her disposal in order to create the perfect food in the perfect way. Using the sun and the moon and the stars, the soil, the rain, the wind, all in perfect harmony to create the perfect foods for us to to use when it's cooked in a proper way, being cooked slowly, mostly with the sun. When we take additional fire to the food, we destroy that. I also say that cooking is really a ripening process, and ripening is a cooking process. So if we have to bring additional fire by ways, especially with modern technology, using things like deep frying and microwaves, which are gross violations. These things are bringing food stuffs that's not really edible and making it edible. So it's violation on top of violation. So when we look at ITAL, we want to think vital, we want to think enzymes, life, uh, moisture, water. These things are life-giving, perishable. You know, our food should be perishable because if it's perishable, it has a life cycle. So when we look at ITAL, uh, it's just like we, we can also say soul food. You know, in the U.S., you know, uh, African Americans are credited with the creation of soul food. And it's the same thing. Uh, raw food is the true soul food. So that's why I say you eat what you are, but you, you, well, you are what you eat, but you also eat what you are because you will, uh, you will crave the thing. So if you're trying to redirect your cravings, you have to, you have to use, um, education and you have to go against what your even your mind is telling you so you so that can be a very challenging process because you are something else and you have to go against everything in your being to say you know maybe I should do this uh, so you know it takes support from loved ones from others our environment our community it can be a very, very a daunting uh, thing to go against all of that. Traditions, uh, holidays, family, spouse, to change if that's your desire. We, we you know, Babylon is in control, and, um, but yet we still exist and are conscious of the fact that we have free will and as challenging and, and the hurdles that Babylon presents 
not only through our food, but especially with our food, but with with co culture, politics, um, uh, 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 justice. It is a war, definitely, and we're all here, and that's why we're even here today, fighting the good fight. Uh, unfortunately, it's never the masses that are in search of the truth. Maybe it's always been that way, um, but it doesn't stop us, and it should never stop us from trying to do as best we can because it's all about love and peace and harmony, justice, um, joy, all of those beautiful things. Um, uh, so, you know, existing in Babylon, it's like you in the world but not of the world. And I think that we all have a power and an influence to, to do better. We may not be able to change the things as they are, but we can, ch we, we do have the power to change, and it starts with us. Uh, you know, one of the things is, um, it was funny to me because, yeah, we, we are really, this, this is, you know, there's a lot of prep, preparation involved. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, making, I mean, again, we make some concessions. We're not making our own vinegar. We're not making, you know, because obviously all these things, I mean, most of these things, again, you know, I say that your food should look like your garden, or you should recognize the things on your plate. If you could, if you could recognize them in a garden, then you're doing okay. Like a lot of the things we eat are not recognizable. It's like, where did that come from? The the here is real culture, and real culture starts with your food, and. When we when we look at we look at food as life, food is the true currency. The way Babylon controls the world is the fact that because you have the sun and you have so much life here, there's really nothing else that you need. So Babylon, in order to control a place like this, it has to use economic tactics because it understands that, like, when you they, when you control the food, you can you can basically control the people. The food is the true currency, uh, not dollars and euros and pounds and even Jamaican dollars or. That's just paper. Uh, the, true, the true currency is what we eat. Uh, but again, they're able to manipulate through currency, which is again, some, just, it's not even backed by precious metals or anything physical. So, so because the people in places like this and around the world are connected to the land because the land is connected to their survival that in and, in and of itself puts them in harmony. Uh, it puts them in sync with, with, with the universe. Uh, and, you know, we can, we can frown upon that in, in our modern society because they're like, oh, they're primitive. Uh, but that, that, that primitive is, is 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 heaven is heaven like that's paradise uh we 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 got it backwards uh so so you know when you speak on using different varieties of food and the way they bring it together that's what that makes me think about it thinks about paradise living paradise health um, which oh that's what my book is called paradise health so when we talk about paradise and um harmony and nature. It's really just about reconnecting, you know, with, with, with what's real. Food as the true currency. And when we come to environments like this, we can really be at one. Again, we're in, we're in the heart of Babylon.
<laughs> Washington DC, right downtown. Uh, but we're, 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 it's important because a lot of us are there, including myself. And it's important for us, for me to even come here and spend a week or two weeks out of the year to get away, to, to reconnect in order for me to be able to serve. Because there's a lot of souls there. And um, I know for me, that's where I'm meant to be at this place in time. Uh, but we're serving the best uh, that we can in that area. So we're able to get coconuts from Florida. Uh, we, get, uh, we do get ackee. It's not as good as it is here, of course, but we're using the best that we can, we're doing the best that we can do uh, in terms of using the uh, best foods that we can get our hands on and preparing it in the best way. Um, you know, we make our own sauces. We make, our, we, we do everything that, that Mother Nature allows us to do. You know, I say that the raw food chef is truly Mother Nature's chef because we're taking the food as she's already prepared and just bringing it together in a harmonious way. Uh, like a song where you have different instruments we bring in all those different instruments, the spice, the sweet, the salt, the oils, all of those things in a harmonious way. So it's so pleasant to the palate. Yeah, yeah, one of the, one of the biggest violations that's affecting the globe is the, is the production, is the farming of, uh, of cattle. Uh, and, um, uh, that in and of itself becoming even just not even raw but a vegetarian would, would, would do so much for the planet. Uh, becoming raw, what it does is it takes it another level because, because you know, with our vegetarian friends, I, I, I've seen that they're more concerned with the cruelty to animals, which is a positive thing. But I say, well, what about this animal? You know, our, this body is an animal. And when we, when we treat this animal with the utmost highness and respect of, of giving it the living food that Mother Nature creates, then it puts everything else in sync with, um, with everything that you're talking about politically, socially, economically, emotionally. I mean, we're covering the complete spectrum of, of, of socioeconomic, culture, politics, everything. Uh, so, so, yes, we have, to, we have to continue. Again, it's a war, and we have to continue to fight the good fight. We have to continue to uh, become leaders, become, look to inspire uh, our, our, our each one, teach one, fellow man and woman, brother, sister, mother, daughter. Uh, we, we have to continue that every individual ha is, a, is, a, is a powerful person that's on this, on this planet and here to move us in the right direction. We all have an incredible influence. So it's all about just tapping into that, working on ourselves, and as we work on ourselves, we're influencing the world. Right. Well, we live in a consumer-driven world and the main thing that we consume is food. We overconsume food. Because we're, over, because we're consuming the wrong food, it forces us to overconsume in general. Just as a drug addict, the, the most powerful drugs allow the, the drug addict to, to use them more, further spiraling them down the rabbit hole. So, this, this empty food, empty nutrition, overcooked, overprocessed, it doesn't feed, it, 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 it fools you, but it's a false filling. So we have to go back to, to whole foods, real foods, raw foods that are produced in harmony with nature. They're complete. When you eat this type of food prepared in the right kind of way, it's only necessary to eat once per day. It's not necessary to eat three, four times a day. So fasting 
is the original medicine. It is really the only one and true medicine. Uh, if, we're, if, we're, if, if we're not talking about fasting, we're not talking about health and longevity. It, it's just part and parcel with it. And it truly, ultimately, is freedom. When we can fast and feast in a harmonic way, that is truly the, that is truly paradise health, paradise living, paradise liberty. <laughs>